Hey, welcome back to Real Life in 5. You're on episode 32. If you missed any, you can catch up. If you missed any of the weekend messages where we talk about the Beatitude for the first time, you can go to reallifechurch.org and catch up. We're in this series called What If Jesus Was Serious? If you haven't read by now the book with that same title by Sky Jathani, boy, it is a great read. And it has a lot of pictures, which really helps. And it walks through the entire Sermon on the Mount, not just the first eight verses, but we're walking through the first eight statements Jesus made. And yesterday we left off with you plus who equals conflict. Who creates that drama in your life? Who is that difficult person that you deal with? And so today we're talking about blessed are the peacemakers. And I want to give you a little bit of background to what people back then would have been thinking. And again, we covered some of this on the weekend, but here's a little bit more. Have you ever wondered what happened between the Old Testament and the New Testament? There's literally about 400 years of silence. And so what went on right there? Well, part of it was the Maccabean Revolt. Uh, If some of you grew up Catholic and read your Bible, you might have noticed the book of Maccabees. I believe there might be two of them. And it covers some of this. Uh, The Maccabean Revolt happened over seven years, beginning in 167 BC. And again, the um, uh, Jewish people had been overrun and they were being overtaken by other people. And so these freedom fighters came into Jerusalem to recapture the city in the name of the people of Israel. They defeated the Greeks and they expelled them. They cleansed the temple and rededicated the altar to God, and they brought peace and prosperity to Israel. This is where the celebration of Hanukkah came from. Uh, The Jewish people longed to go back to that peace and prosperity. They hated the Romans, who were the latest oppressor of Israel, because the Romans had now come in and taken Israel back over after they had cleansed the temple from the Greeks. Uh, In fact, in the area where Jesus is giving the Sermon on the Mount, And about the time that Jesus was born, the Romans came in and destroyed two villages. And in this battle, 30,000 Jewish people were sold into slavery. And in a single day, 2,000 Jewish men were marched into the capital and crucified for rebelling against the Roman emperor. So all of this is in the forefront of their minds. This is not history long ago. This is history recently. Now, I want you to think about how politically charged this crowd is, longing to overthrow their oppressor by any means necessary and establish a kingdom of peace. It is in this context that Jesus says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Notice Jesus doesn't say blessed are the peacekeepers or the peace lovers. No, he said, blessed are the peacemakers. Let's talk about the difference of these two, because we often get these two things confused. Peacekeepers are passive. Peacemakers are active. Peacekeepers avoid conflict. Peacemakers are willing to wade into conflict. Peacekeepers walk on eggshells. Peacemakers humbly pursue reconciliation. Peacekeepers uh, can harbor bitterness. And peacemakers choose not to be offended. Peacekeepers don't share how they feel. Peacemakers speak the truth in love. So, we're going to stop there and live with this question for the next 24 hours. Are you a peacekeeper or a peacemaker? Do you just want to keep everybody happy so no one's upset, no conflict, sweep everything under the rug, and nobody will talk about anything? Or are you more of a peacemaker? You're willing to wade into the difficult things and sort out what needs to happen. So, are you a peacekeeper or a peacemaker? Let me pray for you. God, we want to be people that not just keep peace, but make peace. To wade into the difficulty and sort out what's true and bring resolve. Would you help us to do that, God? Would you give us clear eyes to make that possible? And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.